right, here we are in a beautiful Arlington, Texas morning. A little bit overcast, a little bit of breeze, but still a bit warm. Been out here handling a collection of cars for the last three or four days. Very nice here. Take a look at this one, 1956 Ford Big Window Pickup. Nice little hot rod style pickup, a little bit of Pro Street feel. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. We'll go around back here and kind of cover it on the back. The bed's nicely done. Uh, nice big fat fender pickup. Uh, you can tell the mods in the back here. It has huge uh, 29 by 18 by 15 Hoosier, Hoosiers on the back. Polished American Torque Thrush deep dish wheels in the rear here. Factory style, here's the big window on the back. Nice little options as we get around inside. I'll cover that for you. Four bar suspension in the rear, Ford 9 inch. Uh, has uh, fully independent suspension up front with rack and pinion power steering, power disc brakes. Somebody spent some money on this baby at one time. Uh, get down here and I'll let you take a good look at the stance on it. Very nicely done. Uh, underneath the hood here, it's got some uh, big block uh, bow tie horsepower underneath the hood. Underneath the hood, it's a 454 V8. It's blacked out, really nicely dressed up. Uh, engine compartment on this one uh, hood flips reverse flips flips forward towards us here um, turbo 350 automatic transmission in it four barrel v8 all like i said the engine's blacked out it has polished stainless fender aprons on it and some nice dress and i apologize for the break there i had the battery went dead on the camera and i didn't notice that it was low uh, anyway very nice paint above average professional quality style paint job very nicely done you could pick it for a little tiny flaw here and there, but you're looking at the same truck I'm looking at. This is really nice. A little tiny mark here, and I'm not going to go over and cover every mark on it. The cowl here has a couple little marks, this uh, uh, cowl vent here. That's an easy fix, but nothing worth talking about. A great looking pickup. Very, very uh, hot rod. Fun to drive. Power steering, fully independent suspension, that type of thing makes it super sweet. Big block horsepower. Has power windows in it, very nicely done. Ultra leather interior, two-tone black. Just has a great, nice uh, black all the way through kind of feel to it. Uh, this is a tease seat from what it looks like to me. Flip down armrest, tease is a the brand. They're very comfortable seat. There's a lot of room in this pickup. Nice step that's done here. There's a battery turn off here. Lower dash panel with audio in it. These are power windows right here. I don't, yeah, they'll work without the windows. See that? So these, these uh, door handles are actually power windows or the window handles. They've eliminated the uh, wind wings on it. Big back window. Sun's been coming in and out all day long. Fun pickup. This this uh, tailgate does come down. Fuel tanks in the back right here, but there are latches on it here. The rear tailgate's been louvered. Has uh, upgraded stainless tail light assemblies here. Very nice. Has a little bit of the stock feel, nice little hot rod feel to it. Big window's been pretty tough to find lately. Uh, great looking big window. Kind of you can drive, definitely going to the show and have a lot of fun with. Have a lot of fun getting there too. Again, same level, ultra leather interior. Um, T seats. This is a power window right here, the switch. Put the window up, key doesn't need to be on. Have it up on the left here for you shortly. If you hang on to the video, we'll get more details at Spud's Garage. Fun trip this trip. Six hundred and sixty-five miles on the odometer. I gotta bet that's probably since this truck was built. It is a very nice pickup. Uh, auto meter gauges in it. Tilt steering column with shift indicator. Right there. Vintage.
vintage air conditioning, it blows really cold in this truck. So I'll get it right here. Yeah. Blowing out really nice and cold. It's nice to have here in these muggy Texas day. Headliner wise, dome light. We'll get out, let you hear it run, take you underneath the hood. We did that while we we're down at the shop. Doing the lift or the undercarriage. Make sure you give me a call. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. All right, we get you underneath the hood here. Nice horsepower underneath the hood of this uh, Ford. Blue Oval's got a bow tie in it. Anyway, big block, 454, uh, turbo 350 automatic transmission, Ford 9-inch rear differential. Nicely dressed, all blacked out here. Heavy-duty radiator. It has a electric cooling fan, a huge one. Uh, coolant uh, reservoir tank is right here. Polished stainless fender aprons. Has rack and pinion steering. There's your control arms here. Uh, has uh, mid-range, not long tube, not short tube headers. It all been ceramic coated. Has a uh, Edelbrock Performer aluminum intake manifold. It's been blacked out with a Holley Performance Series carburetor underneath, hide and underneath there. Polished billet engine dress, uh, MSD distributor. Firewall is finished nice with all stainless hardware, Allen, that type of thing. Somebody spent some money and time on it. Tilt hood, reverse tilt hood. Firewall here. Uh, chrome billet, or excuse me, chrome and billet, billet belt uh, pulleys. Uh, belt drive up front here, V-belt. Vintage air conditioning, R134A. Horn up here. Air conditioning and heat. Again, the headers over here, the control arms, the MSD. We'll fire it up here for you in just a second. fired up and the cab cooled down and the windows up we'll take you for a little test drive uh, and we'll get you farther down the video here drop it down to gear turbo 350 automatic three-speed automatic power steering get you out on the road here this one's a gas big block bow tie under the hood get you underneath this truck nice and beefy I'd say this one is along the lines of a little pro street uh, nice small fuel aluminum fuel tank in the back here it's a uh, full uh, box steel rectangular box steel structure frame is custom built coil over four bar rear suspension fully adjustable four bar as a pan hard bar braided brake lines, drum brakes in the rear. Pan hard bar is up there. Flowmaster mufflers on it. There's a the battery turn off thing from the bottom. Nice and solid underneath here. Somebody spent some time building this rig. Got cab, new cab corner bushings in it, braces, batteries there, the access is in the uh, passenger compartment. There's a Corvette style master cylinder with power brake booster right there, power brakes. 
Up front, fully independent suspension coil over style. Billet upper and lower control arms. Looks to be Corvette style to me. Turbo 350 automatic transmission with a deep sump cooling pan. Power steering pump, braided lines, power rack and pinion power steering here. There you go.